It's time to make all your AV devices and multimedia equipment sing together in harmony. Spike Studio takes a look at the Logitech Harmony Smart Keyboard plus their hub plus their app, exclusive from Best Buy. Welcome everybody to Spike Studio product review. We want to say special thanks to Logitech and Best Buy for sending over the, it's like a combo kit that they have. This is a Harmony system. This is the keyboard plus the hub plus the app that all works together. This is their smart keyboard. Uh, it's a full functioning control for everything in your media area and plus parts of the house if you have some things on Wi-Fi, which we'll talk about. Supports over, I think it's almost a quarter million devices. So they say 225,000 devices are supported with this. Uh, you will need a few things when you're doing this. You will need Wi-Fi if you plan on controlling things like the Roku because it'll use Wi-Fi for that. You will need uh, the range of Bluetooth for certain things and a lot of your equipment should be somehow in the same room. You can control things in other rooms if they're connected to the network. So I have a smart TV that's connected to the network as well as a Roku that's on the network. I could technically use the app and everything else to control it from another room, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about what's in the box. Let's talk about how I did the setup and walk through. I'm actually redoing this whole review because I walked through the setup again and realized a whole bunch of things you can and can't do. So I want, wanted to start over. First things first you're gonna get in the box is actually their smart keyboard. It comes with little battery savers in there, which I took out already because I had to set it up one time. And actually, I didn't even need the keyboard to do the setup. I thought I would, so I pulled those out. But I didn't need the keyboard at all for the setup. Everything's driven through the app as well as the hub. So the keyboard has a few features that are on it. Uh, it has some smart keys along the top that lets you customize for activities. Say you wanna be able to quickly push the button, have it turn on your favorite thing to listen to music and turn on the Roku or turn on the Apple TV and turn on the TV itself. It'll do all that and set the input. It'll do all that for you. And then you can use the rest of this for typing controls on all of the systems. So if you hate using the remotes to type, that's what this keyboard's for. It also has, of course, the touchpad that's built in, and it has a quick mouse click button built into the top, which is nice if you're typing, click. You don't have to come over here and find the button. So that's one part that's in here. The keyboard works well. All of this is using different technologies. They use a combination of Bluetooth and IR and network and Wi-Fi, so there's a whole bunch. The next piece that's in here is the actual hub. As you can see, the plastic's still on it. Uh, there's an indicator LED light that lets you know it's green when it's working, red during setup and during reboot and during firmware updates, which I had to do a firmware update when I first got it configured. The app actually said, wait, we're doing a download. We're gonna install the firmware update. So we had to wait about three to five minutes for that. On the back is a simple pair button that's on there. And then also the power and then two little IR pieces. So what you can do is actually put IR extenders if it's in an area that you can't get to. If you wanna hide this somewhere or the device is hidden in a cabinet, you can actually run IR extenders that are in here. What else comes in the box? Of course, power. There is a USB extender. So if you have something like uh, Xbox inside of something or a TV that has a really hard to reach place, they actually give you a USB extender. So you can actually make the controls a little easier to get to. Why? Of course, they give you a nice little USB cable, for the micro and then an IR blaster. For those that are not familiar, a lot of equipment uses IR, infrared. Infrared is pretty much line of sight. The point is, is then you're able to reach devices that could be behind cabinets, around the corner, wherever they are. So how does the hub work a little bit? The hub will then blast a signal besides Wi-Fi, blast a signal out and bounce it off the walls and everything else, trying to reach things via RF or radio frequency and also IR. Keep in mind, there will be a delay when you're doing entry because you're actually not typing to the device directly when you're using things like the keyboard or the app. What you're actually doing is talking to the hub, which then relays it across whatever it is, the network, the Wi-Fi, the, the Bluetooth, or the RF to the actual device. What other devices are supported? Well, glad that you asked. There's also these lovely little USB pieces. You can tell they're tiny and they're numbered. But the point of with these, you can put these in the devices so you can also use RF to control those. Uh, and then you can configure Bluetooth connectivity to other devices. So what I've done so far is I've actually got out the hub and plugged it in. I have taken it and let it do all its firmware updates using the application. We'll talk about the app in a second. Then I connected it up over the Wi-Fi to one of the TVs, it's a Samsung TV, and then also to the Roku. So you can go through the list, but make sure one thing you should have, and I'll give you this tip, the model numbers of all your stuff you wanna connect. For the Roku, you can say Roku 3 if you want, it found it on the network. But for the TV, if you have a Vizio, if you have a Samsung, whatever it is, make sure you have the model number. You could look it up and type forever. What they want you to do is test all the inputs and all the configurations that are there. So let's talk a little bit about the app and about some of the specs on this thing itself. The app does a great job, and you can find it in both Android and iOS, so keep that in mind. We have our trusty iPad 
So I set it up on a couple different devices. What's good is now you can have different devices and they all have controls. One thing I didn't like about the app, listen to me Logitech, I didn't want it to control my TV. I didn't have a way of going around the button for the TV. You had to set up one TV. I didn't want it to control my TV. I wanted to control the Rokus and the Xbox and everything else. For some reason, I like my remote for the TV. I don't need it to turn on and change things. I may change my mind later, but the skip button in the app for the TV was not there. I had to set up a TV. So what did I do? I set up a fake TV, a TV that didn't exist. So I had to basically hit the button a few times to say, oh yeah, that, that's the right TV. Oh yeah, the testing worked. Then I was able to go in and I can skip any of the other devices. No, I don't have an Xbox. No, I don't have a PS4, whatever you want. I do have those and I'm controlling those now, but the idea was I could skip around when I wanted to and add other pieces. I didn't have an Apple TV, so I skipped that part, but I could not skip the TV setup. Logitech, please let me skip that. I may not want to do it and I may want to, you know, you may want to prompt me three or four times and say, hey, you really want to skip your TV setup, but I want to. So you will have to set up a user profile inside of here. It actually connects out to the Harmony My Harmony network. It'll set up a user profile. What's good about that is then when you get another device, you can simply log in and it knows all your screen settings. You can also set up a new remote. You can set up other profiles. You can set up other accounts. So as you can see, the welcome screen pretty much says, there you are. You want to buy it or do you want to continue? Well, I already have it. If you'll note on the screen and some of the screenshots that we have, I can actually also control things like what channel I want to go to. So it'll turn on the TV, Find out what device that controls that channel or that show, like Netflix or ABC or HBO, whatever it is. Turn on that device, set the right input on the TV, launch that device into that channel. One click on the thing and I'm done. So what I have set up now is watch some videos and also listen to some music. Then I'll set it up maybe later with a cable box so I can actually jump to the different channels that I have by the providers and the cable thing. I didn't have the model number in front of me. I was trying to do the setup for the review. The remote itself, the rest of it, pretty self-explanatory. Walk through the steps, walk through the screens, select what you want to. So what do we think overall? Overall, this is an awesome device. Now, if you really want to consolidate how you're working uh, with everything in your house in one room and you hate having all those little pieces and remotes and where's the other remote and you've got, you're familiar with some of the Harmony stuff they've done with the single button, this takes it to the next level because of the keyboard. This hub is the connector. Once again, there will be a lag time when you're entering between the time you type to this and the time it does something on the device. So if you're typing on the keyboard, there's a small lag as it translates it from connecting to this to connecting over the device. I noticed the lag, people have said that there's a lag. There's gonna be a lag because you're not talking to the device directly. What's good about it though, if you ever try to use a Roku remote, if you go see the video we did on the Roku 3, you'll actually have to enter key by key, letter by letter, enter, 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 it's a pain. With the keyboard that I'm able to do now, I'm able to enter everything that I wanna do with the keyboard and everything's set and good to go. So it's not an issue anymore. I'm able to actually totally control and enter input for searches and lookups. What's also cool is now I can do a lookup across multiple devices and networks and shows and everything else I have. Uh, the cord itself was pretty decently long. We didn't have a problem there. Uh, the guide, the guide is very minimal. I'm gonna be very honest with you. It's very straight to the point. The on-screen app walks you through everything else. If you need more things answered, go on to their website and look up some of the help files they have there. They have an FAQ and some more support. But they do a good job graphically inside of the book of telling you exactly where you should locate it, what the pieces do, what the USB receivers are, uh, the IR mini blaster. They tell you what some of the things are. So they do a really good uh, job of that for you for setup. For those that aren't inclined to walk through all the possible screens you have on there, there's not really a way around it. If you want to control those devices and set everything up, you're really going to have to walk through the screens. Take your time. Pretty much set yourself that you're going to need about a half hour to do it all. That included the firmware update, the initial power up, configuring the app, registering the account, agreeing to the license terms, then setting up activities, which is what they call turning on the device with the show, setting up those, setting up the devices, getting the model numbers. You're going to spend a good half an hour, but you know what? It's been worth it. So we want to thank Definitely, Logitech and Best Buy for sending this over. This is their combo kit. It's the smart keyboard, plus the app, plus the hub. They call it the one-touch streaming media control for your living room. You will need uh, Bluetooth connectivity to some devices. You will need Android 4.0 or higher. You will need iOS 6 or higher to control it there. Uh, otherwise, we wanna thank them for doing it. It's another product review from Spike Studio. Make sure you subscribe to all the product reviews and you know what, click the like button below. Let everybody know that our reviews are helpful. Thanks again for watching.